$5 billion is going into building chip factories and other tech-related businesses in the U.S. That means there will be a high demand for Americans who can handle those jobs. Joining us now is Lynn Dome. She's the Executive Director of Women in Cybersecurity, along with Scarlett Howery, the Vice President of Public Workforce Solutions for DeVry University. Thanks for coming on our show, Scarlett. Thousands of jobs in the tech industry need to be filled now. Tell us how people, and especially women who are lacking in that sector, may have the opportunity to jump into those jobs with short cycle learning. How does that work? Yeah, so short cycles of learning is something that should be stackable, right? So you want to be able to start where the learner is. So they take a few classes, gain the skill that they need, contribute that back to the organization and help that organization to grow and to innovate. Uh, and then they can continue on taking classes. In many cases, DeVry works directly with employers to help them understand where those skill gaps lie, build upskilling solutions so that their current employees can even uh, take some of those upskilling classes as a part of our DeVry Works program. So we work directly with those employers to help build upskilling solutions so that learners gain the skills that are going to be most in demand. The shorter learning cycle also means I would think that students are spending less for classes. Yes. How are you specifically opening the door for women to get into tech? Yeah. So in addition to the short cycles of learning, one of the things that we created at DeVry was our Women in Tech Scholars Program. That scholars program is meant to provide support and resources to women specifically so that they can uh, gain the skills that they need for a career in technology um, and continue in that career um, long term. We would love to see women continue not just start in the tech field and move into leadership roles. Our scholars program incorporates both curriculum, the DeVry Care formula, and the third thing we do is we work alongside partners like Women in Cybersecurity and other industry and professional organizations to ensure that learners gain the skill and have the resources for them to be successful in their roles. Lynn, can you bring us up to date on jobs that need to be filled immediately in the fast growing area of cybersecurity? Well, we have over 570 unfilled jobs, 500, 570,000 unfilled jobs in the U.S. alone. And on top of all of that, we have 3.4 million unfilled jobs worldwide. So for us with WESIS, our mission is to recruit, retain, and advance women in cybersecurity. And we know that women represent roughly 24 to 26% of the workforce. So we're working really hard to create accessibility and opportunities for women to not only come into cybersecurity, but also advance in their careers because of it. So it's really important for us to partner with higher ed institutions such as DeVry to be able to help close that gender gap because the workforce is at a critical workforce shortage. And that's why we exist as a nonprofit is to be able to bridge that gap. What's your advice to someone who is looking for a job? Is to jump right in. There is opportunities around us. And a lot of times when people are going into their tech careers or they're looking for a career changer or they're looking for what are they doing with the rest of their lives, um, the, the navigating through that career pathway could be challenging. And so uh, what DeVry is offering with the Women in Scholars program um, and what WESIS has with all our programming efforts, all our initiatives, we're a member-based organization. It creates that accessibility of an inclusive space for women and underrepresented individuals to know that they have the network and they have the accessibility to the resources and uh, with, with DeVry, some uh, funding resources and um, have all that available to them to know that they could not only get into cybersecurity, but be successful in their career because of it. We want to thank you again for coming on our show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.